In this video, I want to show you how you can replace your cutting blades on your Craftsman Riding Lawnmower up next. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of different do-it-yourself projects as well as tech reviews, tutorials, and more. Today I am working on my uh, Craftsman LT2000 riding lawnmower and I'm going to be replacing the cutting blades that are underneath the deck. It's your choice if you want to go through uh, trying to prop up the tractor using some sort of a jack. Uh, I've also seen it where people have made ramps and then driven the tractor up the ramps to kind of prop it up so they can get underneath. What I'm going to be doing in this video is taking off the deck and I'm going to tell you why because it does take a little extra effort and work to get the deck off but one, you can see everything that's going on underneath to inspect to make sure that your belts are good, that all your pins are good. Um, when you get the deck off and we flip it upside down, you can clean that whole thing out. You can also clean everything out on top of it. So this gives you better access to cleaning everything. And then something else that uh, I don't think a lot of people always uh, tell you is that sometimes the bolts that are underneath those cutting blades can be stubborn. So they're kind of hard to get off. They're even harder to get off if you're trying to maneuver with this thing propped up or on ramps. Uh, with like a wrench or a socket or something like that. You just have a lot more leverage and a lot more options uh, Taking the deck off pulling it out flipping it over and working on it like we're gonna do in this video So before starting this project I would gather these particular tools So I've got a broom a towel or some sort of pad for either your back or your knees as you're removing uh, the deck needle nose pliers a breaker bar uh, as well as maybe a cheater bar. If you've got an impact wrench, that'll also work. I am gonna be using a 9 16th socket. Some of these also take 5 8 uh, Some uh, penetrating lubricant in case you've got a stubborn bolt. And then I've got a leaf blower and some gloves. So before I start any maintenance, I am gonna make sure that my mower's, uh, the ignition is in the off position. I'm gonna just pull this key out and then to make things easier for removing the deck, I'm going to lower the deck to the lowest possible sitting position. So you also want to make sure that the handle that engages your blades is not engaged when you're doing any of this. Make sure that that is pulled all the way down. So to remove the deck, you have a bunch of different attachment pins that you need to remove. And every lawnmower might have them in slightly different spots but this one's got five of them, and I'm just gonna show you where they are. So we're looking underneath, and again, my model is an LT2000 Craftsman. The first pin I'm gonna pull out is right here up front, and that's holding this uh, arm to the deck. There's one on the other side. You can kind of see it right there. We're gonna pull that one out. And then we've got a pin right here in the middle. I'm gonna be pulling that one out. Again, there's one on the other side. And then there is one that's on the back arm right here and I'm gonna be pulling that one out as well. So we're starting up front, and a lot of people have said, uh, you know, in other videos online that it's a lot of work taken off the deck. It's really not. This whole process is probably gonna take me five minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and use my pliers, and I've got my gloves on to just remove this first pin. Got my pin removed, and now I am going to detach this arm by just pushing it back out. And we'll let that sit. So next I'm working on this middle pin. I'm gonna get my pliers in there and go ahead and pull this out. And then I am going to slide this part out of here by just detaching this arm from the deck. And you'll notice it's lowering down. So next there's this pin that's back on this area and we're gonna pull this out. By the way, if you need more of these pins, I'll leave a link down below where you can purchase some of these online. You can also go to your local Home Depot or hardware store. They're uh, just a couple of bucks, but I guess the key is they don't always have them in stock, which can be frustrating. So then I'm gonna detach this arm from the back. And again, every time I'm removing one of these arms, the deck is becoming looser and looser. So now let's come around to the other side. So on this side, we have one pin that's right here that we're gonna remove, and then underneath in the middle is this other pin. We're gonna remove both of those, 
and that is going to fully drop this deck. The last thing we're going to need to do then is just temporarily remove the belt, but let's get these pins out first. Removing that arm. So with all of our pins detached, in order to fully slide the deck out, we're going to need to temporarily remove this belt off of the front pulley. So I'm just going to get my thumb underneath it and we're going to wedge it out of there. And now this is completely separated. We'll put this back when we're reattaching it, but that's going to allow me to pull the deck out. So I'm going to pull the deck out, but I'm just going to pull it out a little bit uh, because we still have one more cable to disengage. So going back under the mower, I'm on the left side. The last thing we need to remove is this cable, and this is attached to a spring, and this is what engages and disengages your cutting blades. This uh, cable is secured in two places, one right here by this bracket, and then there is uh, another spot over by this wheel, which I'll show you in a second. To get this out of the bracket, there's a little plastic it's just like a little plastic loop and you can see it right there. It just kind of seeds into there. I'm going to push it up and that's what gets it loose and that frees up this housing and then this just kind of you wedge it around a little bit until it comes free and then that allows you to pull the cable out of this bracket detaching it from the deck. Now the spring which is right next to it is also still attached to the deck it's attached to the uh, pulley wheel that's right here and there is a small pin that's holding it in place. So I'm going to get my pliers, pull that pin out. So I just removed that pin and then that allows me to just pick this spring right up off the top of that. And now this spring cable is completely detached. I'm just going to set this off to the side, but now my deck is completely freed up from the riding lawnmower. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. He's our little hidden robot and he's going to briefly pop up somewhere during this video. If you happen to spot him, be the first person to let me know the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you spotted him popping up down in the comments section below and you might get your name mentioned in a future video just like Rebecca Dietrich, one of our latest viewers to find Tinker in one of our recent videos. We will also put your name on our Tinker Ford Hall of Fame page. So keep an eye out for Tinker in this video. So from this point, I can slide my entire deck out from the bottom. I'm just gonna slide it off to the left. And from this point, I have access to the whole top of the deck and we're going to flip this over and then work on the blades. But I'm going to clean all of this up because as all this uh, grass and all the residue and stuff builds up in here, that can gum up all the workings of your lawnmower, which is not going to make it work so well. So as long as I've got this entire thing off, I'm going to clean off all the grass. So I've got the deck cleaned off underneath and on top. I used a combination of a broom, a brush, a leaf blower, and a garden shovel to just remove as much of the uh, matted grass and the loose grass as I was able to. And now I'm going to work on replacing this blade. You'll notice as we get close that this blade is bent more upward or essentially downward than this other one I hit one of our landscaping rocks uh, just on the edge when it was over here and it was enough to kink it and now make cutting the grass very uneven. So let's talk about replacing this blade. I'm gonna be replacing it with this blade that I bought online and you can find a link to this down in the description below if you wanna check this blade out if you're needing replacements yourself. Uh, I'll also leave links to all this stuff I'm using in this video down below if you wanna check out more. 
I would recommend that when you get to replacing this, uh, if you've got an impact wrench, that works really well. I'm using a 9 16 inch socket. And now if you don't have yourself an impact wrench, that's okay. If you've got yourself a breaker bar, you can put that uh, 9 16 inch socket on. I know some of these will also use 5 8 You can uh, figure out what size your lawnmower takes. If you've got some sort of a cheater bar, you can put that on your breaker bar. That gives you a little bit more leverage to uh, remove these bolts. Sometimes these bolts can be really stubborn. And that's why I like taking the deck off and turning it upside down. You get a lot more access to this area and a lot more leverage to remove this blade and this bolt. I'm actually using a piece of wood that I'm just going to prop the blade against and then try and remove this bolt. Now, if your bolt's being stubborn and it's not coming off, you can get some of this deep creep or something equivalent to it that's a multi-use penetrating lubricant that powers through rust, varnish, carbon. Uh, there's different brands of similar stuff, and again, I'll be linking it down below. But this also helps with removing this uh, bolt if it's being stubborn. So let's go ahead and work on removing this so we can get this blade off. So I've got my bolt, we've got our washer, and then we have access to the blade. And you'll notice on the new blade that I bought, it's got this star pattern. This one also has this star pattern. And you want to make sure that you are putting the blade on the same way you are removing the other blade so that it matches up. This label on this one is actually gonna go face down. And you'll notice that that then matches up with the shape of the blade that I'm replacing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this new one on, but I'm gonna take off the plastic coating that's on this first. So we're gonna put our new blade in and then our washer, let's put our bolt back on. So the recommended torque on this bolt in the manual is 27 to 35 foot-pounds. So I've got a torque wrench and I'm just going to tighten this guy up. Make sure to remove my wood block out of here and then let's go ahead and reinstall the deck. And if this video is helping you out or if you're learning something, take a second right now, smash that like button as it helps out this video as well as this channel. So at the deck back underneath the mower, uh, we're gonna re-hook everything that we uh, unhooked before. So we have our spring and our cable that's gonna engage our blade. This goes over our pulley wheel and then there was that small pin that was holding the spring in. So I'm just gonna grab my pin, grab my pliers, and we'll put the spring back on. I'm gonna hold it with one hand and then just reinsert that pin. Then let's come around to the back side of the deck. And then we have our wire that's just gonna go back in this bracket. We have that little plastic loop I'm gonna insert that down there, make sure this is all nice and snug. So that's hooked back in, our spring is back in. Let's reposition the deck so that it lines up all of our different bars and we'll start reinserting those pins. So I've got some gloves on, which makes maneuvering everything a little bit easier on my hands. I'm gonna just slightly lift this deck up so that this bracket will fit on top of that pole. And now that I've got those two pushed together, I can put a pin through there to make sure it's secure. Pin number one is inserted. So we're gonna slide just a little bit more to the back. And there's this arm that just lifts up. This is gonna go on to here. So I've got that, I can put a pin there. All right. So we're on the front of the deck and then there is this arm. We're just gonna move this into place. That's on and I'll slip my pin in here. Okay, all my pins are in on this side. So let's switch to the other side. So there's this arm that we're gonna insert right there.
And as long as I'm up front, I'm gonna put this belt back on. This goes right over the front. Make sure that's tight. So my last points of connection are right here. I'm gonna, I've got a hand under the deck and I'm just maneuvering this until this lines up. And now with that lined up, I'm gonna put my last pin in. And from this point, I just wanna make sure that my belt is still on going through all my pulleys on the top of this deck. I can see all my pins are in place. So I think we're ready to test this out. So the other thing I'd recommend after you're done reinstalling the deck is make sure your tire pressure is all uh, the same or accurate. In my owner's manual for this particular model, my front tires should be pumped up to 14 PSI. My rear tires should be pumped to 10 PSI. Now it might be different for your model uh, of riding lawnmower, so you want to check that. But if you've got uneven inflated tires, that's also going to affect how your grass is going to look. So from this point, I put my key back in the ignition. I'm going to test this out, make sure that the blades are working, and then we should be good to go. So I'm interested to know how did the process of changing your uh, riding lawnmower blade go? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you're doing other yard maintenance and you're looking for other products like maybe a good push mower, uh, trimmer, edger, even a pole saw, if you've got a lot of brush and stuff, I've done all sorts of great review videos on Ego products as well as all sorts of auto car tips like changing your brakes. Uh, even changing your air filters, other filters in your vehicles. You can check all of those videos out. I'll leave links down below as well as there'll be a playlist at the end of this video. My name is Jeff. This is Tinker Ford. As always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome and I will see you in the next video.